Hi ladies, how are you all doing? It's Andrea here. I'm a nutritional therapist and I love and help and support women um, during perimenopause and menopause so they can look good and feel good inside and out. Um, I also have a YouTube channel as well if you want to hop along to that. Um, I update that with lots of videos on there. Um, I've also got a peri and menopause Facebook group if you want to come and join that. Um, it's a private group, it's a very safe group where you can share, ask questions and share things about your experiences during peri and menopause. So today I want to talk about the good in menopause. Um, I think a lot of us, we, we think about menopause as being bad. Um, a lot of women, they maybe cringe when you say the word menopause. It's like, oh, menopause, ooh, yeah, it's not, it's not the best word word in the world for a lot of women um, and it shouldn't be like that it shouldn't be it shouldn't be dreaded or feared um, really and it shouldn't make you feel sad about this time during perimenopause is the is the most trying time I think uh, because your hormones are all over the place they're up and down up and down your ovaries are preparing to stop and, and it can bring up a lot of deep-seated issues, um, especially in your life, um, looking at your life, viewing your life through different eyes, you know, thinking about where you want to put your focus on for the next phase of your life. And are you happy with the way you're running your life right now? So perimenopause can be quite a trying time. And it's fathoming out, it's putting piece by piece, fathoming out how your diet works, how your body is working, how your body's changing, and trying to figure out what you want to do for the rest of your life and making some of those positive changes in your life that you want to make during perimenopause. So when you get to menopause, you can just probably breathe a bit of a sigh of relief. You know, okay, that's it now, your ovaries have stopped, you are in menopause, no more periods, and your hormones have Hiya Donna, nice to see you lovey. Your hormones have just, you know, they're they're not up and down all over the place anymore. They've just they've just declined to a lower level and you can go into menopause and embrace it. Really embrace it, ladies. And look at some of the positives and I want to list some of these positives here now, some of the good points, right? So we notice some of the bad stuff, you know, you're talking about looking at ring more wrinkles on your face, especially, you know, looking at your wrinkles around your eyes and around your mouth. I know I do. And and some maybe here as well. And your hair's a bit thinner, your skin's a bit drier, your hair is a bit drier as well. So there's a lot you can do to help that though. There's a lot you can do to nourish your skin and keep your hair glossy. And um, the what you've done in your during perimenopause to get your body strong, to focus on your diet, your mindset, your exercise, your lifestyle, can all help you in menopause because your adrenal glands are taking over now. So they need to be healthy as well because if you're not, they're not healthy and working right and they're making your hormones, then it's not going to work for you because um, your adrenal glands are going to take over making your hormones and your fat cells make your hormones as well. So it's really important if your adrenal glands are suffering, your thyroid suffering, that we need to work on them to get them strong again, get your adrenal glands nourished and keeping them nourished with some herbs and diet. Paying attention around your diet and the herbs because they're really, really important in nourishing your adrenal glands and getting them strong again. And this is what I'm focusing on right now, getting my body strong again. Because my body's quite weak and my hormones are just not quite there yet. So I'm I'm right there with you, Donna. And if you're struggling as well in, in menopause, you're on HRT, love, okay. How's that working for you? Is that working for you? Because sometimes HRT can work, but if there's some things in your body not quite right, then HRT doesn't work correctly because it's okay to put hormones into your body, give your body more hormones, but if you can work on your adrenal glands and your thyroid to get them strong again, they can start making your hormones much more effectively again. 
Uh, but HRT can help, especially estrogen, because when you hit menopause, you've got a 10-year window to decide if you want to um, if you want to go with hit estrogen and maybe some progesterone cream if you want to put a little bit on. Um, you don't really need a lot of progesterone in this phase of your life, but it can help with the anxiety and depression. But this should have leveled out now. Because during perimenopause, your body is a bit stressed out and your anxiety and depression can be heightened because your body is getting used to the, the lower levels of progesterone. But when you get to menopause, your body should be used to that and your adrenal glands should have settled down and got used to the low levels of progesterone in menopause. So it, your anxiety and depression should be easing up and getting better. And if not, then we need to look again at the diet, the exercise, your mindset, and your lifestyle, how many toxins you have in your life. Is your gut health slowed down? Is that not taking out the, de the toxins out of your body? Because if, if, if your gut's not working right, your bile flow, your, your stomach acid's low, then you're not gonna be digesting your food right. You're not gonna be able to process the hormones right. And, and then you need to detox that excess hormone out of your body. You don't want them circulating back in your body and the toxins can create lots of bad estrogens, which you don't want in your body either. Uh, and this can cause problems with your thyroid working correctly. And your thyroid and your adrenal glands, their best buddies, they work together. And if one of them's not working right, the other one's gonna kick in and, and try and help out. But then it's gonna, it's gonna weaken both of them if they're not working right. So this is why it's really important in menopause to look after your adrenal glands and your thyroid and nourish them really, really well to keep them functioning well because you're in your 50s now in menopause and you've lived, you've lived a long life in your fifth, not up to now with your 50s and so some of your organs might be a little bit under pressure because all the, the lifestyle and the up and downs of hormones during your fertile years maybe have pregnancies as well and your organs can get tired out and weak especially if you're um, if your diet's been had a lot of refined sugar in it, like I have in my 20s and 30s, I was a sugar junkie. And that really stresses your adrenal glands out, which I didn't know at the time. Um, so this is why I'm building my adrenal gland health at the moment. I'm really working on that, and I'm working on my kidney strength. And your kidneys and your liver tie into this as well, because your liver can get um, a bit fatty, can get like a little bit of a fatty liver. And you can get a test from your doctors to test your liver, but this test won't show up that there's anything wrong with your liver until the last stages of, um, unfortunately, yeah, this test doesn't show up until your, your liver's in a lot of trouble. So it can take, uh, so these tests aren't really accurate because it doesn't really, doesn't really help um, because it, it doesn't really show up that it's anything wrong with your liver until it's really in danger and there's a lot of, and then it takes a lot of work to get it strong again and reduce your fatty liver. And because your liver does a, a hell of a lot, and it, it's like you processes all your hormones, uh, all your prescription drugs and everything, and it filters everything out, helps to take it all out of your body in your stool. Um, and your kidneys play a, a big important role in menopause because they, um, they filter out your lymph system, which is your, your waste garbage disposal system, your lymph system. So that can start backing up. You know, think about your lymph system as a drainage in your, in your house. You've got a sink and you've got your pipes. And they sometimes get blocked up, don't they, with food, with hair, especially your, your shower tray. You know, think about your shower and that all gets clogged up. Uh, and you need to get it all, you know, declogged again. Sometimes you have to really look at your diet and everything else to help your body to detox properly, help your lymph system to move and clear it all out. Because um, this can affect your nervous system, it can put your, your body, the pH of your body is gonna go out, you can more acid than, than alkaline. So you don't want lots of acids in your body. Your lymph system's backed up, it's not getting rid of all the acids, all the, 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 the waste disposal because you, all your cells in your body, you've got trillions of the cells in your body, and they all produce waste. So that goes through your lymph system and that has to be taken out. And your lymph system is quite an important part of your immune system. So if you're getting lots of colds and flus and headaches and things like that, fibromyalgia, arthritis, this is all acidosis in your body. 
and it's causing pain because acids they burn they cause pain you can pain, cause pain in your joints like uric acid build up if you're not processing your proteins properly not building you're not breaking down your proteins in your meat properly that can cause um, a lot of um, ammonia and and that's that can be a problem and that can can hurt as well um, so all these things play an important part in getting the, the garbage out of your body detoxing your body so your hormones can work because if your hormones can't find the receptor sites all over your body because it's in a bit of a fog your body's got a fog in there because nothing's working correctly you've got too much um, of the bad estrogens and they can grab onto these receptor sites and mimic estrogen so they're like impersonate your estrogen your human estrogen and you don't want that you don't want that at all because then your, your, your hormones or your HRT is not going to be able to latch on to um, these receptor sites so your hormones work for you and you're feeling better in your body and it's also important with your HRT that you don't get synthetic HRT you're getting bioidentical so it's like um, more in tune with your body because the, um, the, the synthetic hormones don't work your body doesn't recognize it and they will just force their way in into your body whereas the bioidentical hormones they'll go in gently and go where do you need me to work do, do you want me to go there do you want me to go there whereas the synthetic ones they'll just barge in and they just don't care they'll just go in there and you can, you can get an overload as well you need to be careful with HRT it has to be monitored monthly um, I do like the patches, the patches are good, but also there's, a, there's like a ring that you put in your vagina um, and you can get estrogen just to work in your vagina or you can get it to work that goes all over your body as well, only small amounts though, so it can just drip into your body slowly so you're not getting too much uh, all at one go. Um, so it's important if you're on HRT, get the bioidentical and get it monitored regularly every month with your doctor um, so you're not getting an excess of hormones in your body and, and your gut's working right, your liver's working right so it can process out the excess hormones that your body doesn't need so that's really important so back to the good things about menopause now so you've got no more hormones going up and down like in perimenopause no more menstrual cycle, no more pregnancy. Um, so that's one of the good things about menopause. Um, it's not all about losing your hormones. It's about you know making the most of the hormones that you have and working with them. And you can you can get strong body. You can build muscle still, even with the hormones are lower. Um, you've got more options for the rest of your life. Maybe you've got grown up children that have left home. And now you've got more time on your hands, you can do a study course, you can learn what you want now, you have a bit more freedom on your hands. Um, so you're in the driving seat of your menopause now. You can think, okay, now what do I want to do? What, what are the possibilities that I can do in menopause? What are all these great possibilities out there? And really sit and think on this, because I know some women just can't figure it out, what am I going to do now? But if you keep a journal and write everything down, and, and start thinking about, start asking questions. What is it that I want to do? What lights me up? What makes me happy? What can I learn now? What are the study courses? Because there's loads of study courses around that you can do, and they're not expensive. A lot of online ones now that you can do as well. You can learn a new skill. Um, I, hear, I hear a lot of women going back to university, they're going to college, um, and they're just you know getting degrees and things. I mean, you don't have to do that, but I've heard of a lot of women doing that. Then you're also more comfortable in your skin. I know I, I am. I'm more sure of myself. I'm happier with myself. And I don't, I don't take shit from anybody. Like that's the another thing. You know, don't, you just don't, you know, you, you take me as I am or leave me alone, basically. So it's all about that. Be more confident in your skin and saying, okay, this is me. I like the who I am. I love myself. And if you don't, if you don't want to be with me, then that's fine. You know and just don't give a shit about what other people think about you it's what you think and what's inside you that matters and, and you're not you know that you're a good person you are you're a happy person so you know someone else doesn't like that then that's their problem not yours you know be around people that lift you up be positive to you don't be around someone who's going to put you down be negative 
argue the toss with you, especially at work. You know, someone's like mouthing his head off. Blah, blah, blah. You just think, okay, whatever. See ya. Uh, just don't get involved in their drama. You know, just let them go. And, and just don't just agree with them. If they say, oh, you look like shit today, or I don't like that coat you wear, you go, oh, really? Okay, right, fine. Okay, thanks then. Um, and just don't give them the ammunition to just carry on making you feel bad. You know, just walk off and leave them alone. Um, also, you're more independent as well. Um, like I say, you've got more time on your, on your hands. You can just you can dress how you want, thinking, I'm going to wear this now. You know, I'm mean, going to want anyone telling me how I should dress. I want to wear this. I'm going to go out and be confident. You know, especially if you're more confident in your skin. You know, you're looking at your diet or exercise and your mindset, and you feel more confident with your weight. You know, you, you build your muscle tone. So you're going out there, you're looking at clothes, thinking, yeah, I'm going to get that. I'm going to dress like that. You know, this is me. I'm happy with me. So this explosion of possibilities in menopause, this is one of the good things about menopause. It's not just about the wrinkles and the saggy boobs. You don't have to have saggy boobs either. You don't have to have a saggy bum. You know, you can still go to the workout, do weight-bearing exercise, build your muscle. Um, you can still look good. Um, there's lots of women I know that look good. Um, they just look fabulous now, better than ever. You know, I feel a lot better than, than I did in my 20s. Now that I know how to look, how to focus on my diet, my weight, my exercise, um, my mindset, you know, and I, the way that I set my day up right every morning, I do my yoga, and you just you just feel better. Um, you just know how to how to make yourself happy now, or I'm hoping that you do. Um, you know, if you're not really happy with yourself, if you're a woman out there that's struggling in menopause. You're not, you just can't find yourself. You don't know how to focus on the good things, how to get negativity out of life. If you're struggling with binge eating, you've got problems around um, eating, you know, food, you know, you still got some issues and feeling uncomfortable around food. You don't trust yourself around food. Then I want to help you. You know, I've gone through a perimenopause for the last 10 years. I've been studying women's hormones, a woman's cycle, how, how you can work with the rhythm of your body with the rhythm of your cycle because you'll still have a cycle in menopause you might not have periods but you'll still have the rise and fall of your estrogen and your progesterone just not as much as you had before with your periods when you were bleeding but you still have that and you can use the moon cycle to track your cycles now you know um which is really you can still do the seed cycling you can still do some carb cycling some intermittent fasting these are all tools that are really good for women during this time, can really help you um, to feel good and look good in menopause. So if you're a woman who's struggling, my hormone reset is the great is a great fit for you. Um, I've put together all, hundreds of recipes. I, I work on mindset, lifestyle, exercise. I help you to get into a rhythm, to get um, good with meal planning, how to prepare easy and fast foods that are nutritious, um, that's gonna really help you, how to do the right exercise for you, how to change your lifestyle and your mindset, you know, help you with any issues you have around food, not being able to say, I can't, and more of I can. Um, you know, I can help you do that. If you say, no, I can't, I just can't make a start, I can't do this. Um, it's not easy to eat healthy, it's not easy to meal prep, it's not easy to prepare your own foods. But I'm here to tell you that it's easy, easy, and you can do it, because I've done it, I've changed. You know, like I said, I was a sugar junkie. You know, I didn't know how to eat properly. I was, you know, meal prepping to me was, ugh, you know, really, I don't have time, I've got so much to do. But once you get into rhythm, once you get, once you master breakfast first, get into the habit of making breakfast first, then move on to your next meal and get used to doing that, get used to how to prep that. And then you get, the more you get used to doing it, the faster that you'll get at doing it. It's like everything in life, learning something new. And if you're a woman out there that's excited about learning something new, you know, you maybe you've not been used to cooking before for yourself or, you're feeling a bit unsure about how to go around it, then I want to help you do that. So my hormone reset, 
I'm going to put the link below to it. I'm also going to put the link below to a free meal guide that I've put together for you. You can look at, you can get used to doing that meal guide first. It's just four recipes, breakfast, lunch, dinner, get used to prepping that. And then if you like those recipes, there's more of those recipes in my hormone reset. And they're all absolutely amazing and taste delicious. And you can crave a salad. You can crave these healthy foods because I've done it. Like I said, I ate unhealthily. I ate pasties, uh, takeaway pizzas. I was a sugar junkie. And now I actually crave a salad. Uh, I actually do. And I crave eating fruit. You know, my favorite fruit at the moment. And I've got a massive bowl of grapes here. There we go. And they're absolutely delicious. And I just love eating them. They're so sweet. And they're an excellent snack um, as well. And they give you lots of energy. So, um... I'll see you later. I want to thanks for watching my video. If you've got any questions, please let me know. Ask away. I'm happy to help you. Um, I'm here to help and support you. I don't want any woman out there to be struggling, not knowing how to do it, anything, not knowing how to start, not knowing how to pick up a knife and chop some vegetables, because I want to help you to teach you how to do this right. Um, when you join my home on reset, we have a, a big conversation together over the telephone or on Facebook or on Skype, wherever you want. And, and, and I help you to go through the hormone reset the best way that's going to be beneficial for you. Um, so thanks for watching and I'll see you again in another video. Take care of yourself. See you later.